What's up peoples, it's a terraformer played Luigi's fight for the Mushroom Kingdom and I didn't show a lot of overworld because it was literally my only death in this whole video. Aren't you impressed of me guys? Still managed to clock in a pretty hefty video for three levels but you know what, that's, that's fine by me if I can do a thing like that. So I like how in part two of the reboot trilogy <laughs> Quatrilogy, whatever that word is, that I said I was going to talk about my New Year's plans and then just proceeded to not. Um, well, I mean, I don't intend on, of course, there's some projects that just won't happen ever because reasons. And I, I found a switch. There's a switch behind there. Can you see it? But I'd like to at least clear up like, I'd like to say at least over half of my pro the projects I've ever started are done. So, meaning maybe at least like half of them to be finished. And that's for this year at least. And then overall I'd like to get most of them done, but that's kind of besides it, you know. But, I, um, you know, what else do I want to do? Like, I want to... Like, it seems like I'll be doing a Mario of the old variety, maybe a Mario of the new variety. Um, so one on the SNES 9X and one on the console. Like, I don't know, around the same time, also you see that one tile gap in between the flames? That's where you gotta go to skip the level, or at least it's something like that. It might have already happened. Um, yeah, maybe not necessarily all at the same time, but like off and on or so and then like another project so like Castlevania for instance now that that got progressed in the in the meta sense I actually finally edited the videos and that should be done soon so I can move on to more fast-paced games like the Harmony of Dissonance still is kind of slow but it isn't as bad so I also want to, you know, get into more of the speedrunning type things. I did my god-awful, no major glitches, quote-unquote. Because I did, I did do a little bit of a, z a zip, of a... I forget what they're called in uh, Star World 1 with the cape and the turn blocks. But whatever that's called, I, I did a little bit of that for like five seconds in my PB, so that it's no, then no major glitches, not just glitchless. Um, yeah, something that can accidentally happen in normal gameplay. Yup. So, I'd like to do more of that. I mean, what kind of sucks about me is that the whole way I got myself to do that speedrun was literally that I just did it for the night and I didn't really grind it out or practice which it's a horrible way to go about things but sometimes like it's kind of a category I don't really care about <laughs> to be completely honest so I mean I'd like to do it again with no cape so but really the categories that interest me more is like the no cape categories or like all switches but then beat Bowser so it's a totally legit run type thing. I could get the world record in it, even though there's a world record where it just ends on the last switch you get. I don't know which one that is. Great knowledge of the original game. And, yeah, I don't know. Like, and when I say no cape stuff, I, I mean like no cape, no Star World. So, like, no Star World stuff. Maybe including no Star... Maybe including cape. But that was a little too much <laughs> about that one subject. Um, Super Mario World Remix, actually this one dude has done a speedrun of it, a couple of them actually. So I might like steal his route. <laughs> but I think he'll be happy to see someone else run it, because that's how I would feel basically. So yeah, this speedrunning community is usually not very secretive, which is wonderful. So, it's like, they'll be happy to provide and stuff. I'd like to do demo worlds. 
as silly as that sounds, but there's like only one non tass in existence claim to be in existence, and I should probably ask him, but I could never find it on his VODs or YouTube. Apparently Giga, he's more of an SMB3 guy, but sometimes he'll play Super Mario World hacks, and apparently he didn't know Star World of Demo World. Also, you see where that lily pad came up? If you find a time stop, you can go underneath it. So, yeah, I, I think that'd be an interesting game. I remember at one time I was like, I can't run that. That, you have to use an orb. And, uh, like, if, there, if you have to get an orb or a cloud or something in anything other than why I won, then it's, like, probably not gonna be RTA viable. But... Silly terraformer, you just gotta play a really slow auto scroller. <laughs> or a really long one at that. I think that would be interesting. And then basically just find more hacks to speedrun because. Alright, I'm not gonna finish that sentence because it's just unnecessary. But, you know, I think that would be interesting. Uh, there's always that I want to play Super Mario 64 hacks, but there's also always that there's not really a good way to play them. If I can figure out a good setup for some of them for the, um, the Wii's 64 emulator, I would be interested in doing that, but there is a prerequisite. I actually have to beat Super Mario 64. And this was told to me by Simple Flips that it's just not a good idea to try hacks. But then again, the first one I should probably be going after is probably like Super Mario 74 or something. Because that one's, from what I heard, fairly easy. And it does run... It runs. <laughs> not necessarily well on the, on the emulator. So there's that. So yeah, I'll be continuing with live commentary for this when I return and also when I <laughs> decide to play it so it'll still go on and it won't be completely about everything else other than the game but you, you can see the gameplay I thought this was kind of neat these contained waters that defy all gravity logics and they got the lily pads and the enemies and on the top and I don't know I thought it it looked pretty neat personally it's like I had to throw a little little compliment in there cuz oftentimes when I make videos like these where I just want to spout about stuff not necessarily pertaining to the game I feel bad to the author that I'm not talking about the game but I'll let the gameplay speak for itself as always I'd really like to <laughs> speedrun something Zelda related I might go after Bug Limit, and I know I've said that before, but, you know, maybe. Maybe it'll happen this time, maybe it won't. Actually, you know what, no, there was a beginner's route made by the world record holder of probably Glitchless and also American Bug Limit, because the Japanese dude has the record for that. Um, I believe his name is Anatomies, with a Z, and a, and an underscore. <laughs> um, he made a beginner route for Glitchless, so that might be something more interesting to look into. And, of course, I'd really like to do something with, uh, Master Quest, but all the speedruns involve doing that. Silly, silly Grudo gate skip. And, I, like, this save is just miraculous. I don't know how I did so well at these levels on extreme sleep deprivation and just kind of going. Like, this whole video series, uh, except for the last one, which I did the commentary on already, but you guys already know this. <laughs> uh, that one was a horrible, horrible train wreck, but other than that, like, it all really went really good. So, that that's nice to see. Yeah, so unless I do something like Glitchless, and I'd consider Glitchless DDM, but 
You know, ain't, ain't nobody gonna route that, because apparently it's bad. <laughs> but then again, that's what they said about MST for the Master Quest, because you have to watch Jabu, but apparently you don't have to, but you have to watch Jabu for all dungeons. So check that out coming soon on ADGQ. Saying it intentionally wrong, because that's usually how my mind autocorrects it for some reason. So, yeah, and then there's the four person. Uh, it's not even a race, it's just four people switching off controllers for a uh, over five hour run. So that's, you get hyped for that, that's Majora's Mask. I, like, I probably should have, like, specified. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that, just spouting a sentence and being like, what, you don't know what I'm talking about because I missed, like, the first half of the sentence? No way! Yup. So that's some goings on. So, some games that interest me. I would like to do that, that Gunman's Proof game for the Super Famicom. But it would probably be the, the translated version. Which kinda sucks, cause I did get that game. And, but the intro is like 10 minutes long, and it's just text. So in that regard, it's kind of unfortunate, but I really wish I had another game to say after that. Um, oh yeah, well, I guess I could say that I'd like to go back to Hyper 6. There has been clamoring for that, and VIP 2, and something else and ASPE and I have no intention of going back to ASPE I saw something in that hack that I don't even completely remember what it was it's some cave story thing and some weird custom enemy it's cave story graphics and I just have zero interest so it, it must have been pretty terrible considering some of the stuff I've encountered in the other hacks and with um, with VIP 2 and VIP 3, I made up the progress to where I was on the Zizna simulator, so that's something. I did kinda load two save states on the VIP 2 level because I already did that shit, yo, and I'm not trying to do that again, because the, the one jump, and eventually it may come up on this channel if I ever decide to play the rest of that god-awful stage before or after Raukau, so you may see it on Raukau's channel first. It is a really bad level, and it's terrible and I hate it, And but something about it makes me not hate it more than ASPE. I think it's because I'm farther in the hack, maybe. Yep, so I wish I remember what the, the, the fourth hack was, because it wasn't Hyper, it wasn't VIP3. So I even, I also have Hyper 3 dangling, so that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I'd like to do a console run of Hyper 1. I don't think Hyper 2 would work, I think it has custom music and levels. But Hyper 1 would definitely work, but it's broken on the overworld. And I don't know if I should really ask World Peace to look at it, and I wouldn't know who else to ask. So there's that. And it's like also a matter of, is this worth? <laughs> um, I'd like to finish my level for Morton's Empire. That'd be really good to do. Um, I'd say I'd like to do in uh, A2 XT level, episode 2, but I'm pretty sure they're not accepting levels for that. Pretty sure I have no more ideas than the last time I'd say I'd do a level for that, so I should probably not do that. There might be a Maggle Super Mario World, I should probably enter that. That'd be cool, since I've been entering them since Maggle 2. That's a, that's a alright track record, I suppose. And... I don't think I should enter VLDC 9. I don't think I should. I don't think my level design is up to snuff for that sort of thing. 
I say with an air of attitude. Well, not necessarily me, but... Alright, let's stop talking about stuff we don't understand. Can't think of anything else at the moment. Oh! Super uh, Mario's Amazing Adventure coming soon on console. I kind of inspired Super Wii Dude to um, remodel his hack. So that's going to be existing sometime once the testing is all done. I'm going to LP that straight away. Because that's a really nice hack. That was one of the first hacks I ever beat. So that nostalgia. Very much so. And it also got a little surprise in it. And he kind of spoiled it for me. And I kind of gave him the idea too. Because I thought it could be a thing. But it wasn't a thing. So he made it a thing for me. So that's exciting. I'm really curious to see how he implemented it. So that's good. I like that. I'm running out of time. It's weird how I didn't think I'd have things to talk about. And I ended up having. And let's see how many of those things I talked about. That do not actually happen. <laughs> so that was a good episode on my end. Not sure how you guys will feel about it, but see you, everybody. I almost made the hole, too.